I'm Laura Brown, editor-in-chief of InStyle magazine. Welcome to my office. Why do you wear so much black if you can't control your lint? Are we good? Nothing tells a story about anybody more than the clothes they wear, because guess what? If you're a movie star or little old me, you think about what you put on it in the morning or late in the morning, whenever you get up. Dirty Laundry is about the stories behind clothes told to me by lovely ladies and some dudes. Well, if you're going to get your heart, like, stomped on... Might as well look cute through Might it. as well look cute. Show me your dirty laundry. Hi, I'm Laura Brown, and that is Priyanka Chopra. Woohoo! Fashion, my dear girl. What does it mean to you? Well, I think that for every girl, especially when I was growing up, you know, fashion was such a big part of what I wanted to be. And I think it takes time now that I'm in my early 30s. I've kind of figured out what's worked for me. Mm -hmm. And I think I spent my 20s trying to figure that out. So right. fashion, I think you've got to try different things. I've always tried different things. Some work, some don't work at all. But it's fun to try. Okay, what was the first thing you wore, if it was in a red carpet mm -hmm. or in your, in your life or something where you felt in style? I was invited by a guy to go on, um, to the junior prom. I couldn't afford dresses because yeah. that was not supposed to be my year to go to the prom. Right. So the first time I felt in style was when I went to Macy's, picked up a dress and promptly returned it the next day. <laughs> you said it was dirty laundry. Have you stolen any clothes from a set or from your mother? <laughs> no, never from or a set. Or from Macy's? Never from set, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> when I was a teenager, mm. I may have like forgotten that it was in my bag when I walked out of a store. Oh, and yeah. And then I was on my back the next day I was in school. That was risky. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Was it a print? I don't know, just clothes. Just clothes. I mean, like t-shirts and stuff. Till of course, I was living with my aunt that time and she found out and got really, really livid and I wasn't allowed to do it again. I don't think I was a kleptomaniac, well, you, but like, I think... You're yeah, just a maniac. Yeah, I think so. So the answer to that is, yes, I have stolen clothes. Crap. I hope you learned your lesson. So what did you bring to launder today? Right, so there are a few interesting things. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in America. A lot of my stuff is back home in India, so I have a few things, mm -hmm. which are fun. These are fun. They're old now. Um, these are about seven or eight years old Ferragamo shoes. Which, uh, how do you intend to wash these? You don't. I've never even worn them yet. But they were custom made for me because my foot, the last of my foot, is yeah. in their museum in Florence, it Italy. So they made these shoes for me wow. and this custom design for me and like, I don't know. And they like, they, it's really trippy when you have a man spend like two hours on your foot. Two hours? Yeah, because they measured it. It had to have like the the last had to look like mine. It sits next to Audrey Hepburn. What's next, PC? What you got? Well, I was a little unsure about this one, whether I should... But then your show is called Dirty Laundry, so mm. I said I might as well. Mm -hmm. So this is a jacket that I literally live oh. in. And it's, it's a hoodie. Yeah, and it's my airport jacket, but it belonged to an ex-boyfriend. <gasps> <That's... laughs> Can you still smell him? God, I hope not. No, now you only smell me. Why did you keep this jacket? Things get exchanged, but this one I really, really loved because it's just... I don't know, it kind of became mine. Right. It, Stopped being his like after it stayed back at my house once and then I just kind of wore it. Then, Did he ever want it back? He asked for it and I said no. I was like, no, that's what happens in relationships. Sorry. It's Dolce & Gabbana and it was just, it's such, so, it's the best thing on airport and um, I'm it's always like, wearing it. It's like butter. It really is and I'm always wearing it at an airport because it's comfortable. Do you wear the hoodie bit? Yeah. Put it up. It's got a oh. Rolling with cool, the ladies. Right? What next? Okay, so I'm greedy. Because you're. A f this is my first <gasps> Birkin. Baby's first Birkin. Baby's first Birkin. And it mean, looks poor thing. Just look at what it looks like. It's been better days. Why a Birkin? I think it was just the fact that I could probably afford one. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that was the milestone. <laughs> Having money is a milestone. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I didn't come from um, a lot of money. Mm -hmm. My parents did the best that they could. Mm -hmm. um, they were doctors in the army, and you know, I the fact that I, I reached a point where I could get one for myself, mm -hmm. and I didn't need someone else to buy it for me. I think that was a milestone. With your real life money, with my own it's hard earned money. So empowering about yeah. just being able to choose to buy whatever it is. Yeah. And then going like, I did that myself and I earned my own success. Yes. What's in what here? What is in here? Oh, that's a well, have that's you been a looking beautiful, for that? yes, I actually okay, have. Okay, well done, you're welcome. Why the hell would this be in there? This is a incredibly beautiful pashmina from Kashmir. Oh, can you just say pashmina and Kashmir again? Pashmina from Kashmir. 
But it's amazing. The test of a pashmina is it should be able to go through a ring, by the way. Huh. Paid a lot for this. This better not get awkward. This better not. <laughs> I'd be really mad. All right, all oh. right. Not bad, not oh. bad. Went you through. freaking don't give that back to me. <laughs> if I don't You're freaking get this through my pashmina, I'll be really mad. Listen, help. You're good no, with fabrics and Fill the awkward silence. Stuff. Fill the awkward silence. I don't get awkward mm -hmm. with silence. I'm an mm -hmm. actor. You just fill the awkward silence. I'm always in the mood. <laughs> Is there anything you brought that we could actually launder? <laughs> yeah. It's in a fabric. Is it? Oh, baby. This. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> is that from your homeland? Yeah, this is from my homeland. This is in Abu Sandeep. And I just love the embroidery in Indian clothes. Oh, it's so good. Just look at that, right? And this was, again, one of those, one of my first designer outfits that I ever had to buy because I, I suddenly became, like, famous after I won Miss, Miss World and mm -hmm. I started doing movies and, you know, all these movie star mm -hmm. actresses were always in designer clothes and I didn't know what designer clothes were. I was, like, right. 19. So this was one of the first ones that I ever bought. Very expensive. Really? Do you have a favorite memory in this guy? Yeah. Um, my dad, I lost my dad to cancer four years ago. Um, but he used to sing. He was also a musician. Mm -hmm. He was also a surgeon. So one of his first shows after he was diagnosed with cancer, he still performed, mm -hmm. um, was what I bought this for, actually. Ah. And uh, yeah, so that's why it was super special, because I wore it for that. And he was still ill, but he still performed really well. And after that, this has been super special. Your daddy was a legend. My daddy was amazing. Okay, what would you wear if you are trying to avoid me following you around all the time? Oh, you know, people think that public people wear sunglasses because mm. they're like, oh, I don't want to be recognized. But it's actually because we're just hiding dark circles. It's true. They're my go-to sunglasses. Oh, yes, okay. They're comfortable. They work with almost anything. What they're Ralph they? Lauren. Ralph Lauren? Yeah, Ralph Lauren. And they're just comfortable, they're like a little... So basically to me they say, oh, I'm cool and artistic like John Lennon, but at the same time I'm like, you know, classy like Ralph Lauren and they're a little gold and, and they're I'm a brown. Chick. And one of these things you mm -hmm. know, Laura, because mm -hmm. we talked about it, mm -hmm. um, Indian style, which is my dad's charm necklace. He was sick and you know, like, you get charms from all over the world and you know, we kept like mm -hmm. putting, it was much heavier. You did, you talked about this in Insta, yeah, which I was, I was very touched because it actually meant, means so much to you. And it was your first issue. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell me, talk me through these things. Well, um, this is like a, a Muslim prayer called the Ayatul Kursi, which is for protection. Mm -hmm. Then there is Om, which is again, all of it is for protection. These are Rudraksh, which is, these seeds that come out of a tree once in a year right. in the north of India is considered really lucky. So just stuff to like sort of protect and take care of him. Do you wear this a lot? I do. Whenever I'm not working, mm -hmm. when I'm in, in normal life, I do mm -hmm. wear it because in a weird way, it sort of like feels like my dad's around. Mm -hmm. And you know, you, I'm, I'm traveling all the time. I have no roots in my life. Mm -hmm. I only have wings. I'm always just like flying from one place to the other. So you know, I carry things that make me feel. Um, just at home, yeah, and and a little like in touch with where I come from and stuff like that. And people who love me, Aww. which is another one, which is this ring, mm. which uh, my co-actor um, on Quantico, mm -hmm. she gave this to me after wow. I got my concussion. It's Mother Mary. How did you get the concussion? Well, I wish it was an even more glamorous story than the one I'm going to tell you. But I was running on a wet street, and I wore the wrong shoes, and I fell, and I hit my head on the road, and it was terrible. Um, and uh, it was three days. It was a little scary because the first time I ever had a concussion. And I didn't understand what it meant at that point. Um, but I'm, I only understood when my doctor told me that it was a concussion and when I right. found out that my mom was on the next flight out. So oh. then I was like, oh, this is serious. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. <laughs> so three days with concussion, what did you do? Listen to Amy Schumer in my ear. Because I couldn't do anything. The doctor was like, you can't read, you can't watch TV, you can't focus your eyes on anything. So what do you do? So after three days, I was like, please, can I come back to work? And the producers, of course, were more than happy. Speed round. Oh, I hate those. Stop crying. OK, I've got cards. Ready. What did you wear when you had your first date? I didn't know. I think it was pants. It was an Italian restaurant called Frangipani. I remember that. Mm. And I don't know what I wore. How tragic. Well, that's a good thing that I didn't remember what I wore. I remembered other things. Oh, girl. <laughs> mm -mm. What did you wear when you had your first breakup? That I remember. <laughs> Always. 
I don't remember. Always. I was coming back um, from a shoot. That's why I was dressed in like in my hair was all down, my makeup was all down, and and it was a bad breakup. I remember. Yeah, I you came back so from cute. a shoot, but I looked so cute. Yeah. Well, through the tears. <laughs> I'm so pretty. Yeah. I, at least I was presentable when it happened. Well, if you're gonna get your heart like stomped on, I might as well look cute through. Might it. as well look cute. First day of school. Uniform, because that's what we do. We uniform. all wear a uniform. Yeah, mm -hmm. in my part of the world. <laughs> That was an answer I knew, thank God. One for ten. By default. Um, first audition. My first audition was actually fun to go. I know! I know, it was great. I actually wore a completely wrong outfit. Uh, Alex is a little bit more like this, mm -hmm. like jeans and t-shirt. And I was in a dress and high heels with my hair blown out and I walked out looking completely not the part. Um, you pageanted. But I got the role. I got the job, so I must have done something right. What did you wear on your first day on set? Um, I wore a sari mm -hmm. uh, on my first day of, on set, and I was 19, and I hated wearing it because it's so many layers, and I didn't know how to handle it. And uh, I had to look, obviously, very elegant and as if it was something I wore all the time, which I didn't. Mm -hmm. So um, it was not the best sari experience. A sari is quite a triumph of infrastructure, I find. <laughs> It's great actually because it works on any sort of figure. Yes. If you're, it makes every sort of figure look hot actually. It does. You see all of that and you see all of that and mm. it's like and it draping and it's feminine. And it's really How often do you wear saris? Um, for premieres, red carpets and stuff like that for weddings. Yeah. But I would wear, I mean, I've learned now how to wear a sari with just three pins, which is really hard to do. But um, I've learned how to do that and I wear them in like three seconds. and. Three pins, three seconds. Yeah. First award show. It was Miss World. Miss India. Oh. Miss World. That was an award for Miss yeah. India. And then you won one. And then I won it. The Emmys, that red dress. Mm. What was that again? It was a Jason Wu Girl. costume. It was amazing. Girl. I think. You were getting hit on from stage. <laughs> it was an amazing outfit and I was really nervous because it was custom and you know, mm. that can sometimes be a little dodge. Mm. But um, this just, it was such a princessy outfit and it looked it was the exact same color of the red carpet. So it was just such a moment, you know. Did you weep as you gave it back? <laughs> no. Because I'd had fun in it. And it's so funny, I kept twirling all the time. I was I was the twirling emoji, you know, the, the red one with the, the, the dress. It's weird for people socially with you, but I think what, twirling? No, you just walk in. Woo! Well you don't do it like that, you do it like that. In oh, like slow mo. Yeah. Okay, Elegant. You're, you're going, Wah! You don't do that. <laughs> Last Jeez. concert you went to? Last concert yes. I went to was the Global Citizen concert that happened last year at Central Park. I haven't been to one. What'd you wear? A bunch of outfits. I changed like four times. Because I was on stage I too. <laughs> no. Not because you <laughs> not just because I'm enthusiastic and right. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna change four times. Every time Metallica comes on, I wear a different outfit. Do Which I any, did, by the way. Do you like heavy metal? Um, I love Metallica. Yes. Good I answer, know, so do I. <laughs> So I do. do I. Watching them live was incredible. And I was in the wings, and the, the energy is nuts. Even now, like, them on stage mm -hmm. is like, great. You start banging your head? Yeah, I did. But no, I have videos passion. of it. No, I didn't. This time I was careful. I had no people around me, so I could do it. Because you were twirling. Like, <laughs> What's your Saturday night in look? My Saturday night in? Yeah. I mean, it's not going out, which is usually my Saturday I night know. anyway. Uh, my Saturday night in look is either uh, my pajamas. I, I have I own a bunch of onesies, which are my like at home, mm -hmm. in house outfit. Because Do they have feet? Some of them, mm -hmm. but you can't sleep with the ones with feet. Oh no, it's like a footprint. Yeah, it's really hard. And mm -hmm. I tried once, and then I was I woke up in like two hours, and I was like, oh, what's happening to my feet? They're in prison. Yes, it's very scary. So then I have onesies which don't have feet, which mm -hmm. are great. That's my usually Saturday night in outfit. You look like the most adorable marsupial. <gasps> What's your I'm gonna sit in a dark theater look? <laughs> okay, that's an important one. Um, it has to do a lot with cashmere because you've got to be warm. Mm -hmm. um, theaters get really cold. Cashmere is the best sort of wool. Um, I usually like jackets which are soft and I don't like wearing jeans for movies. Because you get a bit chafy. Well, I wouldn't go as descriptive as that. But, like, it, I'd rather be comfortable. I'm just saying denims are rough You're not a do you? <laughs> so that's why you've got holes in 
Yeah. So you don't My get grandma crazy. tried so often to stitch them up. Yes, well, you should She's really learn. She keep telling me that. I don't know why they She's got She's like, any... do you not have a job? Why do you? That's what she, she really did. She's like, do you not make money? What? What is, why do you have to poor people wear to People who can't afford clothes wear these clothes. That, that's washed by hand. <laughs> washed by hand. It's true. Thank you so much for being here, Priyanka Chopra. This has been Dirty Laundry. With Laura Brown.